Hi guys! <laughs> I'm over here. Hi! I'm actually setting up my Lightner box. Um, here is my box. I want to actually show you, actually let me move the foam roller. I want to show you how I study with this creature and this creature, which is the schedule. And to do that, I need to be on this side over here behind this area instead of right here in front of you. So do forgive my lack of presence right now, um, but we're going to be focusing on the Lightner box itself. Now, again, there are generally seven levels. I don't have anything in level seven yet. That'll be coming when the level six guys go up. This is actually just new cards and blank cards. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six right now. Seven will be in there. And actually, to excuse any confusion, I'll just put the new cards and blank cards in there along with the other stationery and uh, the ties that I use when I carry these suckers around with me. All right, so this is a new box and I'm very, very excited. This is the first time I will be debuting it on this video and in general, the first time I'll be using it. Here is the schedule. Again, it's 64 days. The first time around for HSK1, I started too late, so I didn't actually go through the whole 64. And this time, I'm actually going to have time to go through the whole 64 days. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. Today's day 10. After I finish a day, I cross it off and put the date. And I've been doing pretty good. Look at this. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Oops, missed a day. 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm not doing this to guilt myself. I'm doing this to see how many breather days feels comfortable so I can uh, plan when to start doing the Lightner Box for a different HSK level each time I uh, take a test and start a new level. So again, it's all just a learning experience. It's more about the process than it is about finishing the 64 days for me. But it's nice to have the thought done. <laughs> like this is um, basically what time space repetition is built on. Uh, this is just a manual version, clearly, instead of a digital version. And it works well for me for a number of different ways, but, but th that's in other videos. Right now, we're focusing on the actual process of doing the uh, practice. So here we are. Day 10 is 3 and 1. For some reason, I tend to do the higher number first, but as I was prepping for this video, I realized I don't know why I do that. I honestly don't. So if you use a Lightner box, please do let me know. What do you think? Do you, do you do the higher one first, the lower one first, or do you kind of mix it up? I think maybe I do it as a motivational thing because, let's face it, the ones that are higher up, you've, you've, you know better. So it feels like, um, it feels like you're progressing really, really well. I think that's why I do it, but I never actually put it into words until this very moment. So what I tend to do when I have the whole box, oh, that's not good. Pause. I'm sure I will laugh when I play that back, but that gave me a bit of a heart attack. They stayed in clumps. They did not run into each other when that fell over, so thank God for that. Anyway, so I don't even remember what I was saying. Here's three, which is the first one I'm going to do. What I like to do when I, oh, here's what I was saying. When I have the entire box with me, like when I do this at home, I like to put the lower level and the higher level near it, and I'll show you why I do that. Let me back up so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Actually, I don't need to have that in me. So I've got three here. Here's two. So if I really feel like I've lost the meaning of the card, it'll go down to two. If I feel like I've, it's progressed to the point where I know it, it'll go up to four. And since my phone's plugged in, it's fighting me a little bit. There we go. So there's that. So we've got two, three, and four over here. And so what I'll do is I'll put the, the level down at the bottom and I'll put the cards, as far as three goes, I'll put the cards, for all of them, the cards that, um, that will go into those decks will go above it, like here, here, and here. Let me just show you. We have quite a few, so I don't know if I'm going to do this whole thing, but I'll try to do it as much as possible. Again, I make my own cards, 
So the handwriting in them is going to be pretty shitty. So I'll tell you that right now. Um, I do try to use the stroke order in Pleco to make them look as close as possible, but let's face it, I am not um, super skilled at this. So I'm just going to go through this really quick and move the cards around and talk just a hair as I'm doing it. So again, this is HSK1. There's HSK1 and HSK2 in here. It's not NAR. I struggle. I struggle with these that have this component. It's one syllable. Does that help me? Not really. It probably is NAR, right? It is. Look at that. So what do we say? And I forgot to tell you what the meaning was. I think because my first instinct was NAR, I think I'll allow it to go to four. If it were five or six, I'd probably say no, I need to be more confident about it. But because it's only going up to four, I feel confident since that was the first thing I thought it was. I'm okay with that. It's not a strict system here. Uh, three syllables. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, I don't have the tones on this one. Ho Cho John. Uh, train, train, train station. Ah, I know that. Okay, he's sticking at three. Huh. Chu, chu, chu nian. Chu nian. Chu nian. See, I do have the tones on this one. I need to uh, quality control my cards and make sure they all have the same stuff. But for now, chu, chu nian, which is next year last year ooh close but not good enough um i'm going to go a little bit faster now i hope i know this is in front of cuz the the face animation here and in front of and in back of have the same dian i think is that no chien chien Chin, which has no tone. No tone, you can see here. The first one's a rising tone. Is it two? Oh, man. Um, I, it's taking too long, and part of the thing is when they get up in the higher levels, I want to just be able to remember them quickly, so I'm going to say, oh, the Chin is first. Chin Mian. Mian, the second part, is in both in front of and behind. So this is Chin mian, chin mian. Now if I'm doing this alone and the stack is not quite as big as that, I will spend more time staring and reviewing in my head saying the word over and over and over and over. If I'm by myself, not in public, I'll say it out loud. But if I'm in public, I tend not to talk to myself too much, more than I already do. Um, I had the meaning and I had one syllable correct even if it was in the wrong order, so it's staying in three as far as I'm concerned. This one's a confusion card, what I like to call them, is I have three different words that I confuse with each other. I believe this is Zuo Tzu, which is table. This is Bei Tzu, which is cup. And this, I always forget this one. Mm, I know it's chair. Yi Tzu. This could be the first time that I remember that. Holy cow. Can I tell you how long? No, because I this is I made this card before I started putting dates, but that's finally going up to level four. Okay, let's speed this up, shall we? Dajia. Dajia is everyone? Yay! Dajia. 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 Like I said, pronunciation is not my focus, but I don't want to be super far off either. Hmm. Uh, one syllable... This is Ju, I think, which is, oh, it's either live or where. No, it's it's live. It's live. Ju, live. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm doing much better now that you're here to help me. Thank you. This is another confusion card. I confuse these two. This is Mu, which is wood, trees, tree. And this is Bun, which is like a measure word for books, which I don't understand yet, but it's true. Up to four. We're doing good. Ah, I know this is watermelon because this is such a unique component, but do I remember the actual pinion? Um, shu something. Shu gua, which is like guo, which is fruit, but it's not. 
So I think that stays in three a little bit longer. But hey, this guy just came in on March 22nd, and he's at level three already. So that's pretty awesome. I know this one's milk, but since it has a double N in it, it really confuses me as far as remembering the pinion. I want to say it's new, new something. New, na, na, nai, nai, new, nai, new, nai. I have no idea how to say that. I need to check that sound in Pleco. Um, I had the meaning, but the sound's really crappy, and I can't even spell it, so it's staying in three. This is Chin Thousand. Yes! Oh, there are so many that have this component. Okay. This is one of the Mai's, and this is the Tissel one, but which tone is it? I think this is fourth tone, right? Yes! Mai. My to sell. You'll see in a confusion card at some point how similar that is to buy. This is Do, which took me forever to get out of level one. It means all, all, all or both. Do, Do, Do. Thank goodness for that. Oh, this is Do, but I always forget if this is Do in meaning or in sound. I think it's a meaning. I do. Like I made up the church animation. They're getting married. And what is the word? Oh, I have a cheat over here. I need to erase this. Same. It's the same pinion and tone as that. Yeah, that needs to go away because that's telling me it's wool, but artificially remembering it. So I need to get rid of that. Normally I just erase it, but I'm really having a hate relationship with my eraser. So I don't feel like I know the sound of that, and that's way too important at this point on level three. Um, oh, I just did this one, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a chair. Yay. <clears throat> and is this the Bates? No, this is, um, is it really? It is. Okay, that we already did. This table, that's what we did. Kan Shu. Kan, kan shu. Television? Oh no. How did I get Shu out of that? <gasps> I guess that does look similar. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, I made a boo boo. So here, here's Kan Jian, right? And if you look at the top and the red here, it's Kan. Dian Shu. Kanti really? Wait, wait. What? Kanjian. Kanjian. And this one is Kan don't look at the character, that's just the first part. Kan Dian Shu. But do you see how? Look at this last component here. And look at this one here. See how that can be confused? I think I already have a confusion card with this. But, yeah, I can see why that would be confusing. But that means I don't get it. It stays in three. Was the meaning right? Oh, no, the meaning was wrong, too. I think that actually needs to go down to two. It's a pretty important word. It comes up a lot in the listening for HSK1. Um, the second part is, the second syllable is Dian. I knew this one. Shop, I think. It's to shop, isn't it? It's a shop. Shang Dian. But I forgot the entire first syllable, so it's staying in three. Shui Sheng. Hmm. Wow. I want to say it's something to do with school. Is it student or classmate? Classmate, student. Student, my first reaction. I'm going to let it go up to four because I actually got the right information. It was just a hair slow. So here's the in back of. We had in front of before. So we remember this is Nian. And this is... Wow, they've both left my brain. Ho, 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 Nian. Gotta look up the sound to that. Behind or later. 
I'm going to put him up at four because I want in front of and in back of in different piles. Sometimes I'll split confusing words up like that. Uh, this one's like dot or a clock, which I don't fully understand yet. And the sound, what is the word? Oh, wow. It's not Dan, but I want it to be. It is Dan. Wow. Not fully confident, but I think that my first instinct was right, so it's going to four. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. My first instinct is not, but I'm pretty sure that that is actually right. Wow. Do I remember that it's that? I should, because Naga is used quite a bit, right? This one, that one, Niga, Naga. I don't trust myself, because I, I want to move them up with a, when I'm confident about it, but I wonder if that's really helping. So it's something Zai. Shanzai, but I don't remember what that means. It is Shanzai, it means now. Wow, I think that deserves to go up for some reason. I'm going to get through the rest of three and I will save the things that are unique and talk to you about it in just a second. All right, there is nothing significant about that. Um, I had quite a bit of uh, level three move up to level four. These are the ones that moved. However, these are the ones that are staying. So, sort of bittersweet. So, number four, level four, is now gargantuan. Look at that. So, we're going to put them back in the box. One, two, three, four. And now level one, which is by far the hardest because it's got the most new stuff. So, I don't need three out at all. I just need one and two. Because it'll either grow up to two or stay at one. And I'm not doing this part on camera because this is the most... Um, the stuff I know the least of and that I make the most mistakes on and it's not terribly interesting. The process is exactly the same as what I showed you, only it's more simplified because there's only two, right? There's one and two. I'm holding one. This is the one stuff. And it's much smaller. I'm trying to keep one right now at about 20 cards um, because it's the cognitive load is intense. It's at least five or six new ones a day, generally speaking. Um, and the ones that are here are still, uh, haven't been repeated enough to be familiar. So it's a really, really challenging level. So I try not to have too many because I think that would be excessive. So I think, I think, I, th I hope you can see me. Um, <laughs> I think that gives you an idea of how I do my Lightner box, um, when I have the ability to spread out and I try to do it when I can spread out because it makes it easier to keep things in the right area. Um, so yeah, that's it. Again, it takes maybe, depending on how much I write on the actual cards on any given day, um, sometimes I do like to tidy them up and sometimes I write a lot of questions on the cards themselves as I'm going. And if I don't, it could take only 15 minutes to do two levels and sometimes it takes me up to 30 if I write on them a lot. So it's actually really short to do less than half an hour each day. And I'm combining this vocabulary with the HSK listening and the other exercises in the books that I'm doing as well. I do still follow some people on Twitter and Instagram that post some things in Chinese, and I see Chinese around me a lot on the street, but a lot of that language is either not very useful for what I'm training for, which is to read newspapers and just to read in general. It's a lot of instructions. Um, you know, it's what signs are outside, or it's menus, and that's food. Um, it's a whole other story. Anyway, um, so I do see a lot of Chinese around me, but it isn't necessarily all understandable. Um, but it's a very quick process, and if you are interested in learning Chinese, I, or learning any language, I, especially a language so word different visually than uh, English language, I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest using the Leitler method. It's really, really a no-brainer, um, simple, uh, the process is already thought out, so you just follow the instructions and do those levels every day. And you don't even have to make your cards, um, you can get cards online, I'm sure. HSK cards are all over the place, if you're going that route. All right, thank you, Satyan.